What's up guys, it's Punchy and finally I'll be discussing the ins and outs of my latest deep oaken build that makes use of the big iron. It's a very fun and unique experience that I always wanted to do. If you have not seen my recent video speaking on the mechanics of what makes a gun a big iron, go check that out. I haven't seen anybody else make full use of this concept and maybe you haven't either. This entire build started because I was sick and tired of guns being so boring. Back in the day of old deep oaken, guns used to be horrible with lag and it just wasn't fun to use. A few months later, they became what everybody was using and it was so hard to play around that in the official Deep Oaken tournament, guns were straight up banned. It was so weird, content creators and devs alike noticed that these were a problem, so we voted on this and just banned them. During this time period, I noticed that guns were one of the only resource using weapons and that they should make more use out of bullets. I made a video and this became a part of the Layer 2 update and they listened to what I said and we got some unique bullet variants. As you can see, I care about this subset of light weapons but without a doubt, some weird stuff can happen to guns, both medium and light. I honestly thought I would be taking a break from this weapon type but there's one more tech I'll be talking about soon. Anyway, this build is based around dealing insane damage and armor stripping with a single revolver. For this reason, I compare this concept to Fallout New Vegas and its iconic meme, the Big Iron. In the well-known song, our ranger is walking around with a giant Big Iron revolver and shoots down the outlaw plaguing the town of Agua Fria. In Fallout New Vegas, the NCR, or New California Republic, is a bunch of gun-toting, revolver-wielding Americans, which, you know, that's awesome, right? I mean, all they want to do is just bear arms, like look at their flag. Anyway, they make use of conventional weapons in a world full of pocket nukes and like sci-fi shit, so I have some respect. My stat spread is pretty vast, but I use each attribute effectively. The entire goal around this build was dealing insane damage, but admittedly, I did skip out on charisma and some weapon proficiency in order to boost my HP. Try it out. It's not perfect with Vesperian, but I went for an NCR Ranger-inspired outfit with a brown Pathfinder Elite and my gray Ignition Deep Delver outfit. Also, Link Strider is important thematically in New Vegas because the Wastelanders are draining the Mojave's remaining resources. I picked up my revolver and modified it to fit my big iron knee. Needs. It's metal in order to fit with the metal description of this weapon, and its armor drain is quite important. We'll be doing insane damage and shredding resistance at the same time. For way more damage, I used a multitude of damage multipliers. Ishin's ring let us deal more damage at the cost of taking more damage, and both Maestro's and Rosen's ring gave us a flat stat increase. It's worth taking. For the ammunition itself, it's more of a repeat from the Big Iron video, but anyway, base shooting speed is alright, but it is not slow enough to confuse our enemy. So I added on the heavy hands ring, and now it shoots slower. But the final stage of completing the Big Iron iron requires everything. The single revolver, heavy hands ring, and now the umbral bullets grant us the slowest firing speed for the revolver in the entire game. Do insane damage, but swing very slowly. Don't worry, because the insanity has just begun. Perfect for any fallout participants, being crazy is the norm. The talent Lose Your Mind allowed us to deal unrivaled damage by losing sanity. It's pretty meta in the current chime atmosphere, and it's very simple to charge up. Overflowing Dam was another perfect tool for this build. Having a full ether bar grants us bonus damage on M1. Since my firing speed is so slow, I often have have full ether, which just does more damage. Speed Demon and Cheap Shot weaponize our character speed boosts into extra damage as well. When buffed with increased speed, we deal bleed damage on M1 and 10% more pen. Pen is pretty damn strong when we're deleting armor and using armor piercing rounds, so yeah, it's good. The final talent that I think really shined was Bear Trap. With light guns, it's very common to shoot that projectile crit in order to hit your target from range. Luckily, if this lands, you can still proc your enchant and your opponent will be prevented from jumping. I found this extremely useful since my crit was integral to this build. But of of course, I could not have done it with my big iron alone. Fast mantras let me mix up and extend combos on the enemy. Rapid punches, debatably the best mantra in the entire game, let me cancel my M1s and stun players, which I then shot. It's a very unpunishable move and important for catching players lacking. Shoulder bash did more of the same since it's uncomfortable for people to parry. After a shot or uppercut combo, I'll activate this mantra and close the gap between my opponents. Rapid slashes was also used for this reason, but its mix up potential was unmatched. The iconic sound effect and wind up can be cancelled into a damaging revolver shot, and it's a effective range is no joke. Jumping players and unexpecting people get hit with Exhaustion Strike. This acts as a combo starter and block breaker which usually results in great damage. It complements my slower firing speed with the faster mantra. Now Symbiotic Link and Leech go hand in hand. In order to mess up our enemy and piss them off further, I stack on this Link and drain their HP. This and a Wind Gem let us backpedal away for free HP. The last two mantras, Revenge and Gaze, were both tools I use frequently to apply Wind Gem and gain additional speed buffs. That's all I picked up for this build and no mantra was wasted. Take a look at this talent list.
All right, I do want to say this build is not meta, and it's more of a self-imposed challenge that I put upon myself. Trust me when I say this, that playing the same old meta builds becomes boring, and it was something I realized even before starting Deep Woken. A lot of people ask me why I'm still interested, and this is why. Back in the old days of Rogue Lineage, I made a ton of videos about Uber Oni with a sword, which is not supposed to be a thing. It's a weird play style that I had fun with. When I see somebody using a weird build that tests their creativity, I'll try it out. Rarely do I see something that makes me go, oh, I really want to do this, but the big iron build was one of these things. Single guns are not supposed to be meta or even good and everybody knows this but pissing off players and having fun with a wacky challenge build is always exciting for me since somebody asked me to check out heavy hands and umbral bullets i took it a step further if you asked for this i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll be sure to make some more character related or interesting concept builds in the future comment down below what you want to see next like and subscribe and have a good one